Hello again. We are in your debt. This is the gear worn by the legendary Dragoon during his final battle. We'll send these to the Imperial Capital on secure transport. I think history will remember you as the courageous adventurers who braved Exorcist's depths to recover this gear. Council would like to have you have this as a reward. Oh, that reminds me. I'm sure you met Lily and Solo, right? Yes? I've been told they're preoccupied with exploring the Fed Necropolis. As some of the guards and other adventurers worried. But few have what it takes to brave the third stratum. If it's not too much trouble, I'd like you to talk to them. We've done so much for the city. If they're in trouble, I want you to lend a hand in any way we can. What would you like to do? Please, be careful out there. Hey there! What are you selling? Check out my new wares! Ring mail, hero, hero orb. That sounds fancy. Ring mail, which she can't equip, which... Uh, she can equip that, and which will be useful for the moment. Hero orb. Well then. Gee, 60 G's! I mean, sure, it costs an armor slot, but 60 TP, jeez! And, um, like, Adrian can equip that. Oh, yeah, that would help him out a lot. Adric is. Adric and Faden are the only two who can equip that, and Faden's not going to. Okay, I can make. I can. I can have two. Faden. Faden's good because of her slash damage at the point, because considering that those one things are the most threatening things in the labyrinth at the moment. With him disabling my heals. Well, no, they do headbind, so it, it affects Pusha, not Reika. Hmm. Might be better off holding Faden off for now and have Adric go back into the lab. You want to equip it here? Considering that uh, fire damage from those wheels is super, super threatening. Jean's always good, but nothing's here here's particularly weak to lightning or anything. What are you selling? You got yourself a deal! I don't need that right now. Anything else? You're always such a big help! Welcome back! Thank you for your patronage! Good night. Good night and sleep tight. I'm gonna switch up my party again. Take care now! Hey there! Aw, oh, leaving so soon? How may I be of service? What will you do? Alright, I'm probably gonna have Adric. Um, we're old faded back for now. Um, Sigmund's good. Uh, Sigmund and Frey are good for dealing with the vines who are who have been the biggest threat. Yuri's still good with dealing with the one cre creatures. Hmm. Hmm. Usha could also be good. We'll do Yuri and Reika. Yes. Damn it. Yes. Very well done. We'll this party. So we gotta move some of my characters around a bit. Oh, um, do, 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 do. Okay, you guys see how that looks up there? Ray is above Faden. So I'm doing it in order. And let's see, uh, Gene. Love Gene. There we go. Is there don't let the labyrinth claim you? Welcome back. Do you want to save? How can I be of service? Also, a couple of these characters leveled up just a bit ago. <laughs> okay, so. Alright. Yeah, you need. 
uh, chain elements targets all enemies. I don't remember if that's a terribly good one. This is good. Considering how it's like, it's like improved Link from the previous, from 4. Except you, d unfortunately, except thankfully you don't have to have Vanguard and this up at the same time, so it's actually more useful since these guys only need one buff at a time. Um, from what I understand, the follow-up attack is just his normal physical attack. Into two-hit stat, yeah. I don't think it's a double- I don't think it's a double hit with the chain. I'm pretty sure it's just that. Okay. Oops. Freya. Freya. Of course I need to put more points into Cursed Reap. Yuri. Storm's good. He's done. But, now I think about it, that could actually still help against those vines, too. Rick, uh... Right, she guys. Unfortunately, she needs to start putting points to self that to actually get her skills. Okay. Take care now! Adric's mostly here just to deal with the wheels. Considering when they set fire on all, on all my party members, it sucks. Outside of that, they're not that bad. Ah, uh, doggos. Oh yeah, poison! Right. I have no means of dealing with that shit. Okay, they're weak to lightning. They're weak to lightning. Kill them first, because they're the most threatening thing on here. If I could headbind. If I could headbind them, that would have been better. They're not, they have no resistance. Petrify, but this I don't think this has a particularly high chance of pulling it off anyways. Come at me, Excuse me. Try to poison my party. I don't really have much of anything to deal with poison at the moment. I also remember that down down at the bottom there's that one event too. Which is mostly just a free save. Oh wow, okay, the stairs are just right here. There's either a. Oh, well, there was that. And it said that I could do it, but I was busy. Okay, so I'm expected to come back there some other time. Okay, I'll do it some other time, whatever. Damn it! Okay, there's definitely always on this floor. As much as I don't want, I would rather not do this. Go back to the title menu. Right, I didn't save after sk setting the sk skill points. It's because I didn't buy the thread again, and without the thread, that's going to cause a lot of problems, especially when I'm on the third floor. Hail and well, take care now! God, that's super annoying that I keep forgetting to do that. Alright. Hey 
there. You know, buy two. Deal. You're always such a big Wait, help. Uh, I might need to buy some nectars too. Hey I there. I'm pretty sure What'll I'm actually equal on those. Deal. Buy at least one medic. Wow, medic twos are so. I forgot how cheap those things are. Deal. Okay, I'm gonna actually add a sun, sun cabbage. Crazy. What will it anything else? You're always such a big help. Okay. Let's not fuck up this time. <laughs> Jeez, so annoying. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yep, there was enough damage to just one shot him. Because of course it does. Again, poison just completely fucks you up in this game. It does so much damage. I appreciate it. There's no way to resist it. Okay, well maybe I have an accessory that I, that resists it by this point. I hope. Damn it. As you creep through the stale, noxious air of the marsh, you see a familiar figure standing quietly in the shadow of the gnarled trees. She looks patiently at waiting for something, but your arrival snaps her out of her referees. I've been waiting for you. Lily continues in an unusually somber tone. That you made this far up the third stratum. There's something I want to ask you. The girl gazes at you, waiting for a reply. Lily nods and continues. Well, it's about a certain necromancer. A typically upbeat girl that has an expression bordering on torment. The voice is great. For generations, my Celestrian clan has been hunting a rogue spellcaster. You see, this man stole a powerful artifact from the sorcerer's tower in my homeland. The grand relic this necromancer stole is too deadly to be allowed outside the safety of the tower. It must be returned no matter the cost. My father, and his father before him, and his father before him, are merely the latest in a long line of people searching for that man. His mission has been passed down from parent to child for, well, ages. The 
findings of my ancestors led me to this labyrinth. That's why I came here with Solar. If that necromancer is anywhere on Eggdrasil, he would surely be in this fetid necropolis. But Solar hasn't had any luck in finding him. But since you're one of the only other guilds to make it up here, I have to ask. Have you seen any suspicious people in the stratum? Any necromancers other than myself? Suspicious necromancer? You have yet to encounter anyone like that, and you tell her so. The girl's expecting eyes drop to the ground. I see. But I have to believe he's in this labyrinth. Her words are cold and hard like iron. She bows almost all apologetically before returning to delve deep further into the stratum. If you do come across any clue, please won't you tell me? I beg of you. I will, of course, repay her kindness in turn. That lily turns a corner and vanishes. Take her words to heart as you return to your own investigation of the graveyard. Alright, I, I marked the wrong spot. Ghosts just ignore you. And they can pass through walls. Great. Okay. I knew it. I'm going to have to do that. Okay, I don't know where much about the ghost, but yeah. So basically it curses them. Okay, ghost is annoying because it because it seems its main strategy is to possess someone who takes all the damage that it takes. Man, this tribe has some really mean enemies. because I was trying to find it, find out why I marked it like that. Flip of the hand or me being dumb, either or.
What's that? The stuff has to eerie monsters that plague this uncanny graveyard come to a dead end. The cemetery is the same as ever, lined with spear-like fences and ominous tombstones, but somewhere you can hear a woman sobbing. Could those be the cries of a lone adventurer, stranded from her guild and lost within the fetid necropolis? Curious to look around, but suddenly knows a figure behind you. You could swear that it was just moments ago you and your party were alone. A hauntingly beautiful lady stands before you. When she notices your gaze, she casts her sad eyes toward you and quietly reaches out with a thin white hand, as if imploring you to take it. She looks troubled. Maybe you should take her hand and lead her to safety to the city. Then again, you could wait to see what she does. Wait and see. You look over the supposed explorer, but their dress is far too elegant for adventuring gear. There isn't any wear or tear on her clothes. Now you have a closer look. Her skin is too pale for someone who's been exploring outdoors. After ignoring the woman's hand and observing her for a while, you realize she's been chanting an evil-sounding incantation under her breath. This woman is dangerous. It may look human, but it's some sort of vampiric entity. Draw your weapons and attack the witch. Oh, okay. Flame tenders. Okay. I wonder what she does. Don't know. Oh, I use freeze. Damn it! I meant to use killer. the humanoid vampire, you, ex you deeply exhale and take a short break. Once again, things in the slavers are not as they seem. You take that lesson to heart and continue your adventure with renewed vigilance. Such a rude labyrinth. Okay, this one, I didn't see the shortcut that led to that. So. Going by that, it would have to be like that. At least, minimum. Unless it's more than that. Damn it! Did, that didn't come across my mind either. I should probably not mark that.
They, can't, they straight up can't touch the light. areas that they, the ghost can walk in versus taking damage when you go to the damage spots. That's what it seems like to me anyways. Oh, I didn't even think about that one. Jeez. Constantly watching that little thing right there. through the dreadful cemetery where the de dead still walk. You encounter a familiar harbinger. Long time no see. Tomorrow's greeting is friendly enough, but she gazes at you with the usual detached air. Seriously, it's crazy how fast you've grown. This strange drive gives e me e gives even me even gives me the creeps. After another moment, she si she says there's something she wants to ask you. Harbinger gives a curt nod and continues. 
Lily's filled with uh, filled you in with the man she's been looking for, right? You know, the necromancer. You must be wondering why. Well, it's time I told you what the deal is with that. Sora looks up at this guy and she continues to seemingly losing herself in an old memory. Once upon a time, there were twin Celestrians, spellcasters who lived in the Sorcerer's Tower. The older brother was called Crow, named for his dark eyes and ebony locks. His sister, Swan, had ivory skin and hair as white as snow. Crow hungered for knowledge of what lies beyond the laws of nature. One fateful day, he stole the tower's fabled ring of the Undying. To put it bluntly, the sorcerers got pissed. They sent his sister, Swan, after her. After him. Her job was to recover the ring and assassinate Crow. In the ensuing fight, Crow dealt a mortal blow to his own sister, then fled to a faraway land, never to be seen again. Meanwhile, however, injured on the brink of death, Swan's last request was for her young children to one day slay the traitor Crow and take back the ring. After telling you that much, the woman pauses for a moment and slowly looks to each of you. She closes her eyes and takes a deep breath. That tale is really old, but to me it sounds like a load of bullshit. Especially for those kids who had no choice but to get caught up in it. So there's someone whose entire life has been determined by Swan's dying wish. This story can't end until Crow is brought to justice. Sora's eyes glisten as she fights back tears and wipes away the moisture from her eyes. Where do I come into the picture? Long ago, I was a common cell sword who wielded a blade without purpose. Now I follow a greater cause. My calling is to serve the last descendant of Swan. Yeah, you guessed it. Her name is Lily. I'd do anything for her, but it turns out I'm not strong enough to face what lies at the end of this tragic tale. Go figure. That's why I need your help. To investigate what's lurking at the top of this wasteland. I'll keep doing what I can. But if you learn anything new about the fetid necropolis, well, let's say I owe you. Big time. You take her words at heart as the harbinger departs, and you continue your own exploration. Alright, now it's time to heal everybody. Ha ha. Because I can see the encounter starting to go up again. Oh, oh, hello. I was not expecting to see the stairs already. Set the encounter rate. Okay. We're not done with the previous floor yet. helpful at least. One of these days I'll have to come back during the night so I can look around and see all this other fun stuff that's around here like that treasure chest and what's over there and stuff. Yeah. Because screw taking 20 damage every time I walk. I need push on my party in order to negate that type of shit. Need to actually try to check that, but okay. I'm actually glad I did. Oh, I treasure in here. Good 
This is a big nope for me. Yeah. Yep. 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 I have to redo the whole floor again. Damn it. I mean, I'll come back at night, but still. The entire floor again. Let's do it to it. I'm mad. Now, I did save after buying those threads, yeah? I did save after buying those threads, or yes? No? Take care now! I've been making all kinds of mistakes hey today. There. What'll it be? Deal! 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 What'll it be? You're always such a big help! Welcome back! Thank you for your patronage! Have a nice nap! Okay, we're going back at night. This floor is stupidly you. annoying. The 12th floor, right. Let's go through everything. Man, this set me back massively. Discover the remains of an old campground. After looking around, you wonder if people were ambushed by monsters. Debris litters the area, a torn tent, and discarded backpack. Thankfully, no bodies in sight, and explorers here must have gotten out safely. Must be something useful uh, amid the scattered belongings, but perhaps it'd be wiser not to lay, uh, waste any more time and carry onward. Investigate. Check the scattered belongings. At first glance, a few things catch your eyes. Forgotten backpack, pot near the fire lid, sword leaning against a nearby tree. Decide to pick up, pick up and check the articles in order that. Uh, and that they tugged their, tugged their curiosity. They got the pot and play her inside. Inside is a semi-solidified -sol substance. It's white and has a fairly sour smell to it. On closer inspection, you realize the pot has a crack in it. You wouldn't be of any use to you. Try drinking whatever's in the pot, or simply leave the white substance alone. <laughs> drinking things off the ground is dangerous. You decide to leave the suspicious pot alone, and decide thinking about what you'd like to do next. Take the sword. Pick up the sword leaning against the tree. Its polished blade gleams beautifully, even in the damp, messy air. It must be well made. Get the sword to your inventory. Seal greaves. Now you've got the shiny new weapon, you decide what to do next. Backpack. Open to the backpack and open it up. When you open it, you find medicine and food. So much and three fruit cakes. But mixed in with the mundane items is a mysterious bottle. It's filled with black liquid that is giving off a rather peculiar scent. Taste the little dark fluid would sate your curiosity, but drinking suspiciously is risky gambling. 
no way such a strange smelling fluid would be of any use to you and your party. Join the bottle of black liquid for now. You finish looking through the backpack. Take one last good in front of the camp, but nothing else catches your eye. Sitting around any longer might be dangerous, so you decide to leave the camp and continue to explore. Why can't we just, you know, take the suspicious black liquid with us into town so someone can tell us what it is? I mean, is that too smart? I mean, the white liquid I could at least understand. Okay, so... Higher magic attack, lower physical attack, unsealer. Probably, um... Unsealer sounds like something that would actually... Uh... Be a stat sandwich or something. It has a much longer... Aha! The ghosts actually have... No! I'm not dealing with this shit. You're in the way. Oh fuck! I didn't think it would go that way. Guys, get out of here, please. Thank you. Okay, that, that was the one I saw earlier, wasn't it? Thanks. Okay, so yeah, that is yes. a big problem. I was thinking, oh, I could just negate these things, and that'll make this a lot easier. Without realizing that their paths are much huger now. Take your sight. I wonder what that does. Okay, well, it's weak, uh, way weaker. It has like, yeah, it has a leg of bind effect. I'm not sure if that's necessarily useful, to be completely honest. But it didn't have such low magic attack. I would actually give that to Reika, because she can use that. Okay. I was wondering about them. What? Oh, this is bad. She begins a way upon you as you creep through the dark ways, then to the side of your path, you find a small reddish-yellow plant. It looks like a patch of egg-shaped mushrooms. These mushrooms appear at the right on time. You can cook them and sate your hunger. Sitting down to the path and starting a small fire for all to the ease, you pick the mushrooms from the patch and get cooking. Fragrant aroma begins to wave from the ripe mushrooms as you roast them over the flame. Delicious scent increases your appetite and you start hurriedly wolfing down the shrooms. Mushrooms' rich flavor sates your hunger and replenishes your stamina. You're enjoying the snack, however, Freya suddenly screams. Next time, Sigmund mumbles that, that, that something's hot and starts undressing. What? Meanwhile, Idric turns to the wall and begins babbling at it. He's these mushrooms are hallucinatory. Your vision goes fuzzy as you collapse. Oh, it's the next day now. When you wake up, you realize that you passed down the middle of the labyrinth. Your joints ache and you're not seriously hurt. A heavy throbbing pounds your skull. However, a side effect of these mushrooms. Fuck you! God damn! You hold your aching head in your trembling hands and you journey return to your ill fated journey. Not to mention there's a ghost right behind me. I mean, I was going to just, you know, use the one skill just to run back, just to run back to the stairs so I could restart this room. But no, and now I have to use a thread to get out of here. Welcome back. Thank you for your patronage. Have a nice nap. How can I be of service? Take 
What? I what? That's the first time that's happened. That's odd. Okay. Fuck you. No, I am not fighting the Grand Spriggan. Those things hit really fucking hard. I mean, just figuring out how these things' pathing works is a pain in the ass. At least I can see what's on this side. You know, before another ghost. Okay, whatever's in here better be good. Okay, cup. Yeah. I mean, I don't use those too terribly often, but yeah, that is a good thing. No, I'm not dealing with those silk stupid ghosts. Just because I need to figure out a good way of actually how to deal with them. Yeah, this floor is too risky to figure out how, how, what, what I need to do to actually do shit down there. Whew! That was spooky. Okay, our Harbinger friend. What's up? town because I just caught up to where I was before. And I want to save and not have to deal with that again. Welcome back. Do you want to save? But before saving, let's buy another thread now? because I keep forgetting to buy those. Hey there. What'll it be? Deal. There. What'll it be? Anything else? You're always such a big help. Welcome back. Do you want to save? I'm gonna be mad if it's not gonna let me tell Take start care, running now. the floor again. Yeah, it's weird that it doesn't let me start on those floors. I'm kind of curious though, if there's a specific reason why it doesn't do that. No. You're in the way. Yep, yeah, one bite. Try. Yeah. Oh, okay, poison didn't go off. Okay, progress, okay. Right, let's see what's down here. And not die this time.
Nope. Even when I get the jump, these things have a fuck ton of health. Checking for our hidden spots. I can at least try to take out the ghost this time. Wait to blind it, boys. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. No. I won't get its unique drop, but whatever. It's going to die. It's good enough. last time. Yeah, I was on the right one. Okay. Ghost. Resistant to everything except sleep. This phantom haunts you when before it's sealed. It'll make 
you'll be made to relieve its pain and suffering. So, okay, so put it to sleep. Gotcha. Okay, yeah, there's nothing in here. That's weird. I should probably be checking the walls, too, for, you know, stuff. Okay, that's that's the gimmick to this area, isn't it? Multiple paths. Only one leads to something good. Nope. Still, nope. time. It's like, it's 4 a.m. I really, really don't want to have to deal with the big guys, considering how they could basically You're nearly one shot my party. Okay. I had to have missed something. I am dumb. No. I didn't realize there are skeletons down here. Please let me leave. Thank you. Oh, it'll be turning day soon. Oh, geez, there's a lot of them down here. Because I stepped near that one, I didn't have a choice. Oh god, there's a lot of them. What? Oh god damn it, they're positioned in such a way that I have to trigger all of them. <laughs> That's mean. I see, I see the doorway over there.
130 TP 50. Hmm. Very nice. one in, in the back and if I kill the one in the front it's just gonna transform I I know your tricks game so you know what after all that crap let's let's just get out <laughs> 